leaving Hayward, Wisconsin. The temperature is presently 80 degrees. And we're heading up to Duluth Superior. I think the temperature is going to be quite a bit less there. A little more comfortable. These pine forests are just spectacular. And I think they're well maintained, and that's why they don't burn very often. I mean, it can happen, but... Forests that are well maintained don't burn. Or rarely burn. campsite for the 4th of July. It'll be right on Lake Superior. I don't know if that'll be in fireworks, but looks to be a mostly cloudy day for the 4th in that area. Maybe foggy at times in the evenings and mornings, but no rain. are not forecasting right now. Let's see. Next day, maybe some rain. The fifth. Wondering when that guy was going to do that. He's been chasing me for a while. Nobody likes to be behind one of these uh, big Ford Transits. I get past a lot. In half a mile, turn right onto Lakeside Road, Main Street. Minong! I presume that's how you uh, pronounce it. Dangers low today. Take the next right onto Lakeside Road, Main Street. Continue on Lakeside Road for one and a half miles. I'm just driving and thinking out loud. Just want to encourage you to go ahead and ask any questions that you might have. I'll do my best to answer them. I mean, you know, you're watching a, a van life channel for some reason. 
maybe you want to do this yourself and you're just kind of checking it out or maybe you just want to live vicariously through another van lifer I know I've done that myself I've got a number of van life channels that I uh, keep up on watch regularly and you know one of the things that I see in those channels is that they do try to answer the questions that the viewers leave in the comments below so leave me some questions in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability the drive from Hayward to the Duluth Superior area is not that long. It was only maybe about an hour and a half, and we've got about 45 minutes to go. So uh, the temperature has already dropped by a couple degrees. It's now down to 78, so that's a good thing to see. I chose this particular route. Google gave me two to choose from. I chose this particular route. It's the faster, but that wasn't the criteria. Instead, I noticed that the variety of uh, the landscape looked a little bit, uh, you know, more varied. The other route just seemed to be driving straight up through a, you know, some sort of a forested area. And I'm sure that would be beautiful too, but I thought it might be interested, interesting to see, you know, a lot of different varied terrain and landscapes. So here we are. Uh, and this is a nice highway. Uh, obviously, two lane divided, 65 mile an hour. I think the other one probably would have been a, a 55 mile an hour the whole straight way. I've got good internet, internet right now, I've got uh, strong 5G, so when I'm not talking to you or uh, whatever, then I'm just rocking out to the internet radio. So I think I might do that for a while now and uh, let you just uh, watch the uh, scenery go by. Unfortunately, I can't just, there are times that I think I'd really love to just, you know, let the music play in the scene because at some level, I suppose it adds something to it. It's, it's what I'm experiencing. But I can't, of course, because YouTube will give me a copyright strike on it, and then that's not a good thing. You get a few of those, and your channel's just kind of dead in the water beyond that. So, unfortunately, I can't let you listen to music with me, but um, I can let you at least watch the, the trees go by, and, the towns go by and all that sort of stuff. of Superior. We are 26 minutes out from our destination. The temperatures dropped to 73. Wow.
of holiday gas stations up here. That's kind of new to me, but they seem pretty common up here. There's an eagle flying up there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera caught that or not. I think that's the first eagle in flight I've seen. Deal with this like bridges up here. A railway thing or something? I don't know. Seven for gas. A little cheaper than down in Hayward. We'll be joining the interstate here shortly. Interstate 535. And of course there's road construction. What else would there be? Oh, 
Google's aware of all these road construction detours and ramp closures and whatnot. City skyline along the uh, right here looks pretty cool. <laughs> There's a Holiday Inn Express. What do we want to be today? Pilot, a brain surgeon. industrial port town. Check that bridge out over there. I wonder if we're going to be going up over that. It's entirely possible. And yes, it does look like we are looking at the Google map there. miles, take the Garfield Avenue exit toward Port Terminal. See, I think Google could have uh, guided me through that a little bit better, but okay. And here's the bridge. I guess in so. a quarter mile, take the Garfield Avenue exit toward Port Terminal. So I guess we're in uh, Minnesota now. I, typically, uh, Google will say, welcome to Minnesota, but not this time. I don't know. 
Maybe there's a part of Duluth that's actually in Wisconsin. All right, we got to take, take an the exit Garfield here. Avenue exit, then merge onto Garfield Avenue. Continue on Garfield Avenue for one mile. GoPro camera has just overheated. Oh well. So admittedly, my exploration of the Duluth Superior area was rather weak. I stopped in at the Duluth Walmart upon arriving in Duluth and uh, checked them out. But I wanted to see if I could find a city park where I could just go and get some work done because I've been feeling behind on a number of things, not the least of which is these videos for you guys. And so uh, we spent a, a really great afternoon in a beautiful park in neighboring Hermantown. And as nightfall approached, I made the decision to head over to Cloquet, Minnesota, where I had heard that there's a very good Walmart there that is very accommodating to travelers. And I found that to be exactly the case. So I was driving over to Cloquet, Minnesota, when this came into view off the road I was traveling on. <laughs> Check that out. It's beautiful. Uh, the power lines, not so much, but you know, that is just a beautiful <laughs> view of, well, that would be Duluth, I'm guessing. Yeah, I could really do without the power lines, but that's amazing. I found a much better spot than the last one to take a look at the skyline. Check it out. Isn't that spectacular? Duluth, Minnesota. on Lake Superior. It's just about twilight. So far I'm really impressed with this area. It's quite lovely. But I have to wonder, what is it like in the winter? Lots of snow, lots of cold. For right now, wow, beautiful.
The next day, the next morning, I uh, found a Ford dealership in uh, Duluth to take joy in for an oil change. And um, because joy was due for an oil change at that point. So got that taken care of. Spent some time in a nearby mall, which was kind of a nostalgic thing. When's the last time you've been in a mall? Uh, I haven't been in a mall in quite a while. Um, but after the uh, oil change was done and uh, Joy was ready to rock and roll, I just headed back to that same park that we had been at in Hermantown and continued to just uh, try to catch up on additional work. Uh, returned to Cloquet that uh, night for uh, a second uh, night uh, in the Walmart parking lot, a little Wally docking there. Uh, and then the next morning we headed out for uh, Bayfield, Wisconsin, which is where we'll pick up in the next video. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. A full moon tonight. I <laughs> can't get the exposure to get it though. I'm trying. I'm on like 10x zoom. Yeah, it keeps wandering. Can I do it from here? Yeah, I don't know if you can see this man in the moon, but that's a pretty cool little moonrise. <laughs>